Now that we've covered the options on the Artisan Transform toolbar, let's take a look at the Artisan Subdivision toolbar. But first, let's define what subdivision is. Subdividing a surface, or creating subdivision surfaces, or subsurfaces, is a popular modeling concept in which a simple low polygon mesh gets progressively subdivided and refined. The most popular of the many types of subdivision schemes is Catmull Clark, which subdivides each selected quad into four quads. When combined with smoothing, subdividing results in a high polygon mesh, enabling flexible organic modeling. The first toolbar icon, which I just used, is Subdivide and Smooth. The toolbar also has icons for Just Subdivide and Just Smooth. Let's take a closer look at Subdivide and Smooth. This command applies the Catmull Clark subdivision scheme using Pixar's Open Subdiv library on whatever geometry is selected in advance. Note that I'm creating the boxes in this model using the Artisan Extrude Faces tool so that all faces will have the proper four sided face topology, including interior faces. If the selected faces are loose geometry, as in this example, and not a group or component, one iteration will be performed for each click of the command icon. Note that material mapping remains preserved along the smoothed faces. Adjacent faces that were not selected are also divided with soft edges to maintain the proper topology. Subdivide and smooth can also be used to make further refinements to already smoothed faces. For this box, one iteration leaves some sharp corners, but I can select just the brick faces at one end and iterate a few more times. When a group or component is selected, the command will use a non-destructive proxy mode. In this example, we start with one iteration, which I can increase to two or three, though beyond that, things might run a bit slowly. The proxy faces in light blue are the original faces, and the translucent gray faces belong to the subdivided and smoothed subsurface. Reducing the subsurface opacity enables me to see the internal edges more clearly, and I can show both sets of faces, or only one at a time. I can also adjust the edge display to show the default quads, the edges from the original faces, or no edges. The Commit option at the bottom completes the operation, removing the proxy faces and leaving only the subsurface, which is now what's inside the group or component. This is equivalent to applying a subdivision modifier in other 3D modeling programs. Starting with a new group, the Remove option reverts the object to the proxy geometry and removes the subsurface object from the model. If you have a complex model with many faces, this option enables you to display only proxy objects so that your model may perform faster. It's also a good option for sharing or exporting geometry. Selecting the group and activating the command again brings back the previous subsurface. New in Artisan 2, another great feature of working with groups and components is the ability to modify the proxy faces and see the subsurface results. If Artisan tools are used, such as Extrude and Move, I can see the results in real time. If SketchUp native tools are used, such as adding a line, then pushing up the new face, the results appear after the editing operation is complete. The next tool is Subdivide, which, as the name suggests, subdivides selected geometry without smoothing it. Most regular faces are subdivided into quads using the Catmull Clark scheme, whether as loose geometry or when part of a group or component. Triangular faces, or irregular faces, such as a rectangle with a hole, are subdivided using loop subdivision. This scheme produces four subdivided triangles for each original triangle. This command is typically used to add more detail to a specific area of a mesh. For example, if I want to sculpt only the top of this box, I only need to subdivide one face of the box, then sculpt just on that face. Sculpting tools will be covered in a later video. Similarly, the smooth command is used to smooth selected geometry without performing any subdivision. This command is typically used on surfaces that are already divided, which you may see in imported geometry. As an example, for this quad divided sandbox with some smoothed faces, iterations of smooth will gradually reduce the hilliness.